Hello everyone, my name is Pixel Riffs, and today I'm going to show you how to build a one chunk woodland mansion. This is my take on Minecraft's own woodland mansions, because why trek 20,000 blocks to find a big house full of axe murderers when you can create one yourself? I've taken a few creative liberties with the interior, but I think the outside is pretty accurate, and best of all, it fits within a single chunk of 16 by 16 blocks. Start by creating a doorstep with cobble and stairs in the centre of your chunk, then outline the remaining 15 by 16 area with a line of cobblestone, making a square at each of the back corners. Take out the grass inside this area and fill it with birchwood planks, just like the floor of a regular woodland mansion. We're going to lay out a floor plan to make this a little easier. Start with dark oak logs either side of a two wide doorway, then go around the edge of the birch area with dark oak planks. In the centre of this area, place a 5x8 box with andesite at the corners. Start a staircase here, add a couple of interior walls, lay down some red carpet at the entrance, and add some bookcases to this back left corner. Place cobblestone walls to the left of the doorframe and at the corner, and then add stairs around the corner and start a cobblestone pillar here. Mirror this on the other side, then come around to the side of the building and place stairs either side of the centre, with two cobblestone walls between. Add two cobblestone pillars on the corner and a wall right on the end, and then repeat this pattern around the back and on the opposite side. The walls of Woodland Mansions have this plus shape design made with dark oak logs, so you'll need to build a plus shape behind each wall so that the ends of the logs face forward. Build eight of these in total, centred on each plain wood area we've marked out with the cobblestone details, and add two pillars to the side of the door. Once that's done, add logs to each of these blocks, leaving the centre of each plus shape empty, then fill in the area around it with dark oak planks so you have 5x5 five five panels with the plus shape centred. Remove the backing blocks when you're done. Back on the outside, add cobblestone stairs to the top corners of each 5x5 five five panel, and build up those cobblestone pillars on either side. They'll end up being 11 blocks tall. Find the 6th block up and build 5 blocks towards the centre, and then add stairs on top mirroring the ones below. We'll add another wood panel on the second floor, this one with a simple window. The border will use dark oak logs again, topped off with a row of oak planks, which will continue into a frame for a 3x2 window above the main entrance. On the opposite side, we'll mirror the window pattern. After putting the glass in, we'll add some cobblestone walls here below the windows, and then connect the two sides with cobble stairs and blocks. Keeping hold of the stairs, put two above the central window, and corner stairs on the outsides. Lay some blocks on top, then a stair and a corner facing this way. Build another overhang for this window, and then add a stair on the end next to the pillar. Fill in the row behind with dark oak planks, and then mirror the same design on the opposite side. If you want to add a little detail to this front wall, swap the planks for stairs on top of the window posts and around the plus shape, and below the windows themselves. While you've got the stairs, we'll start on the roof detail. Build a central point here with two stairs facing outwards and add stairs to the corners facing inwards, then build along the top of these to create a roof overhang with the corner stairs at the ends. Last of all, we'll add fences coming down either side of the windows here. Before we move on from the front wall, we can add some bushes to the grassy patches either side of the doorstep. Now around the side, we'll fill in this window space with glass panes, add a frame on top, and build two additional rows of dark oak. Above this we'll add two more plus shapes with dark oak logs, putting a cobble wall above each, and then add another window two blocks above the first. Once again we'll frame each panel of the wall with cobblestone stairs and build a dividing line six blocks above the ground. Continue the pillar up to the height of the wall, have the divider come right out to the back corner, and then dip it in the middle so you can place cobblestone walls underneath the window. Add stairs here as before, frame the upper floor with inward facing stairs, then add a row of cobble along the top of the wood panel. We're going to add inverted stairs over the cobblestone walls like so, connecting them in the middle with two sets of oak stairs, and on the end with stair blocks connecting to the roof line. Add a downward facing stair above the back corner, then come around to the other side and mirror everything we've just done. While we're doing this, I'll remind you that you can support my channel and these tutorials by donating to my Patreon with the link on screen and in the description. The bottom half of the back wall is basically the same as the sides. The top half mirrors the front part of the house, except it doesn't have the central window, just the two smaller windows on either side. And the roof line is the same as the sides, with full blocks on top of each cobble pillar, and we'll start filling in the roof from here. Add two additional rows of stairs, then if you want to add texture to the roof, fill in the next row with stairs facing inwards, following that with inverted stairs to create a kind of gutter. Cover the rest with slabs, and the exterior is more or less complete. 
For a little extra detail, you could once again swap out some of those dark oak planks for stairs, perhaps above and below the windows, or on this empty panel in the back wall. We now have ourselves a miniature woodland mansion, and we'll move on to the interior. The interior is too small to emulate the usual rooms of a woodland mansion, but we'll do our best, starting with the central staircase. Build the walls around it four blocks high, and then add a birch plank floor around the outside and over the doorway. Build the staircase upward, and then divide it to reach the landing on the next floor. Fill in the blocks at the sides with more stairs, because then the stairwell can double as a storage room, and you'll still be able to open the chests. We can also take out these two dark oak walls, they're just leftovers from placing the door frame. We'll add oak fences at the top of the stairs, then build up the walls four more blocks, and add another birch floor on top of that. Leave a hole in the back left corner so that you can build a staircase up there using cobblestone stairs. Block up the wall by the staircase to give some structure to the interior, and we'll start decorating. We're going to keep the decorations relatively plain, like actual woodland mansions, but we can add some fun touches. In the stairwell, we'll frame out a 4x3 area using trapdoors, so we can place one of the less used paintings. On the ground floor, we'll add bookcases and a study area in the back left. Further down the same corridor, we'll build a table by the window decorated with mob heads and flower pots. Around the other side, we can build a couple of short interior walls and throw a painting over here opposite the window, then place some of those blue and cyan wall blocks that you find in woodland mansions for some reason. Adding an old school planter with a grass block and trap doors could also be a nice touch. Another table by this window would work, and let's throw an armour stand with a suit of armour over here. Around the back upstairs, we'll put in a bedroom with a regular bed, some carpets, bookshelves, and other decorations. Under the staircase, we could spam some terracotta blocks just for colour. This mansion doesn't have enough room for a giant cat or chicken statue, so we'll just have to make do with a regular chicken. The top floor doesn't have a big staircase in the middle, so we have a bit more room to work with here. Start by creating some internal walls, and we'll make three rooms plus the landing for the corner staircase. Woodland mansions don't really have doors inside, just archways leading from room to room. This long back room could be home to a large bed made of wall blocks, and some basic bedroom furniture would work in here. Bookshelves, a bedside table, torch lighting here and there, and some more paintings. The adjoining room could have a bunch of chests in, although if you want this to be true to a regular woodland mansion, don't put anything in them. The room to this side can have another low table, and as a fun touch here we can create a one wide doorway at the top of the stairs and conceal the rest of the top floor behind a painting, so nobody will know it's here. Last of all, since we don't have any creepy illagers around, let's add the next best thing, some armour stands with chain armour and wither skulls. Spooky. Thanks for watching this one chunk tutorial, which was made possible with the support of my awesome community of patrons. You can head to patreon.com slash pixelriffs to donate and get rewards, including membership to my patrons only Minecraft server. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future tutorials. My name has been Pixelriffs, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.